Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed getting into the vibe and feeling of being the creator instead of the interpreter of experiences, being the chooser of your state of being, your thoughts and your feelings, and therefore indirectly and quite directly your circumstances versus feeling like you are just the receiver of experiences. Feels powerful, no? To be the chooser, to be aware, to walk around this seeming physical world, but feeling like you are the chooser of what you experience at any given moment. So keep practicing that on a daily basis if you can. It's a very good practice. Now, I'm trusting that you've done some of that homework and that you've walked around for hours feeling this way. And we can continue to another similar tool or permission slip that will add even more preciseness and power to your alignment and to your success in terms of seeing results in terms of becoming the creator and chooser of your experiences. And that is become doubtless in your choice. So this also plays off of the unmixing of frequencies. We cannot become doubtless in our choice unless we investigate what the underlying belief system is. That is contradicting the thoughts that we have that inspire us in this moment. So we have new inspirations every day, especially, especially when we're already excited and we're already tuned in to our truer selves. We will get inspirations all the time. Those inspirations may not jive well with old paradigms or stale beliefs that we've picked up on automatic pilot when we still believed we were just an interpreter, just a victim of experiences and a victim of this big bad world. Now that we're starting to re-embrace our empowerment, we can start to feel and notice how we are actually constantly choosing. However, we need to then investigate those old paradigms every once in a while when it feels like they're blocking us from proceeding with our new inspirations, when they're making us doubt ourselves. Doubt is the number one reason why things don't work when we use the law of attraction. It's because we have mixed ideas, mixed frequencies. We think and desire one thing because we are now truly inspired by higher mind. It's truly come our, from our heart, coming from our hearts, this inspiration, this new thought. It's not just coming from the ego effect of lack, like, yeah, I need this because it will keep me safe. No, it's a true inspiration. Like I want to embark upon this journey or I want to write this book or I want to engage with this person. So it feels like a new inspiration without any neediness, but with great passion. You feel excited about it. You feel settled into the here and now with it. You're not running away with the idea too much where you're projecting into the future and becoming attached to outcome. And then you feel your needs or lack of beliefs come up and latch onto that new dream. You've cleared that all out. You're quite enlightened. So let's say, let's suppose that this is the case. Most of the time you receive a new in, in inspiration and you have this balance of faith and will. You are participating. That is your free will. You know you are the chooser and creator of your experience and simultaneously you respect the wisdom, the higher wisdom of the higher mind and you always stay humble and in tune and open to new insights and you're not attaching to outcome whatsoever. Very important. Why do you not do that? It's because the joy is in this moment only. You can never experience the future joy. You can only experience the joy that you feel right now thinking about the future. That is fine. But experience the joy right now without believing it's actually in the future. You're just using that as an imaginative symbol to feel more grounded in your joy right now. So say you're aware of all this to a great extent, that you're balanced in this way to a great extent. Now we can really start playing around again with the Empowerment 3 course, which is all about these tools that will allow you to overwhelm your experience with your chosen vibratory state. Which this lesson is teaching you how to do in the form of becoming doubtless in your choice. So when you have a new inspiration, I want you to start playing around with, and again, you can only do this if you're already in a heightened state of awareness, otherwise it will most likely not really work as well, but it could drag you out of the mud, muddiness of mediocrity a little bit. You can play with it even when you're not feeling already great. Um, so you can try it then too, becoming doubtless in your choice immediately and see if it bumps up your frequency. But if not, then return to some of the other tools. First relax, find some relief by focusing on things that feel better. And then when you start to focus on these things that feel better, maybe watch a couple of the previous lessons and videos so that you're re-inspired. 
And then from that place of feeling more powerful again and having seen through the lack beliefs of being a victim and being powerless, now from this heightened state of vibration, I want you to take that new inspiration and just be bloody doubtless, be effing doubtless right there and then, be doubtless, remain only only with that chosen vibration. Don't even have an ounce of space left. Don't even have a percentage of space left in your consciousness to consider anything else as possible. Doubtless, direct doubtness, immediate doubtlessness. It is a choice. Again, see how the victim in you will start to try to say yes, but I can try to be doubtless, but then there's still this limitation or that limitation. No, be doubtless. Don't even consider other options. Become absolutely one pointed in your intentionality with this new inspiration. Become doubtless instantly without doubt, which really means you're ignoring every other possibility of thinking about anything but knowing the truth of your new inspiration and holding that within your vibration and focus only. If you do this for somewhere in between 20 to 60 seconds, when you get a new inspiration, you're really anchoring it in and you're sifting through 99%, if not 100%, a lot of the time, of your doubts because if you don't allow these doubts to come in instantly, they will not take over your momentum and your vibration. So now that you receive a new inspiration and instantly you remind yourself of this lesson and you choose it doubtlessly, you're not even considering any other identity or option or obstacle or space, time, reality, or reason. You're only in the vibration of your new joy and in the knowingness that it is true for you and that it is happening. Total doubtlessness in your intentionality. If you hold that for 20 to 60 seconds upon the arrival of a new inspiration, you will have already erased above all the muck or at least 99% of it that you would otherwise perhaps feel like you have to work through. That's why this lesson is very powerful when applied in this way consistently. And it is practice and it is training. But become doubtless instantly and have blinders on to any other potential thought. You are expanded in your sense of self and in your sense of vibration, but that expansion is focused solely down the line of sight or rested within the vibrational plane that you feel coming from that higher self's inspiration. You choose to commit to that 100% and know that it is true and know that it will happen no matter what. You're not even thinking about time. You're not even thinking about when. You're not even thinking about how. You're only thinking about the knowingness that it is yours, that it is done, that it is the case. Doubtless in your intentionality instantly for 20 to 60 seconds, you will start to feel how long is appropriate for you to then indeed rapidly grow that lotus of the new inspiration instantly and have it rise above the mud. And when it starts to blossom, you will feel within those 20 and 60 seconds for most people, depending on how pure that doubtlessness is. If it's not very pure, you might need more returns to it. You might need a couple of minutes to return to it. But if the intentionality is very pure, it will not take you longer than 20 seconds. If that, to really feel like you've risen above the mud and now your new intention is flowering and you've fully entered your new reality. Now this is an accelerated way, a secret way in a way, to transcend the three-day process. But you see, the three-day process is so relevant that I usually do not share this method before people have significantly or often enough gone through the three-day challenge because the three-day challenge in some fashion will always come up for us. It's practically inevitable unless you become absolutely yogi-like in your intentionality all the time. But if that's not the case, and if you do have thoughts that make you wobble every once in a while, which is, I would almost say natural or okay, or part of the journey, it's very important to understand the three day process and all those curves and the peaks and valleys. But technically, whenever you become instantly doubtless and 100% committed to a new inspiration, you, within those 20 to 60 seconds on average, you will grow past the day two experience without even having to really be aware of it at all. You're simply taking that vibration and you're growing it so fast by focusing on it so completely and believing in it so instantly, just because you know you want to, just because you know you can, just because everything that I've told you is true. And now you apply that with confidence 
instantly. You're growing so rapidly that you're transcending the necessity of going through all these stages gradually otherwise. Try it out. Use your new inspirations and practice being instantly doubtless with it, ignoring everything else for about a minute. Practice this, practice this, practice this, practice this, practice this, and I'll see you in the next lesson. And let us know how it goes in the forums. Enjoy. Have fun. You're the creator.